Hi, I'm Kathleen Olson, owner of Edina Skin Care Specialist. I'm going to do a color science makeup application today and give you some of the tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way. So first of all, I start out with my serums, my moisturizers, my sunblock all ready to go. I also like to put on some kind of a lip balm while I'm preparing the rest of my makeup and then I take it off to put on my lip product and they're so much more smooth. So I am going to start with their Even Up. This is a really nice primer. It is quite thick when it comes out of the tube. So I like to thin it out with a little bit of hydrating mist. So I actually spritz the product in my fingers, spritz my face a couple times. Usually when people buy this for the first time, I get a call saying, it's too thick, I can't work with it, I don't like it. So getting it spritzed like that makes all the difference in the world. You really want to work this into your pores, starting at the center of your face. It's kind of like putting Spanx on your face before you get dressed. It helps to make things look a little smoother, fills in the pores. This also has an SPF 50, which is great. All of the Color Science products do have sunblock in. It's their mission for everyone's skin to be protected. The next step that I'm going to do is the Tinta Soleil. So this is the foundation step. Another trip for this is I like to thin it out with their new Glow Sun Forgettable Sunblock. It just gives it a nice luminous look. It's easy to do. It's thinned out a little bit, which I like because I wear a lot of layers of things, so I like to keep them nice and light. So just warm it up to your body temperature. Again, start from the center of the face and work the way out. Tinta Soleil comes in several different colors and also has, of course, a sunblock. It's an SPF 35. So we're nice and protected here. I did just put some plain sunblock on my neck before I started this so that everything will be protected. Okay, the next step is one of our best sellers. This is called Total Eye. This comes in a really great peach tone, which is great for combating the blue tone underneath my eyes. I've got the darkest circles ever. A tip with this is to work it off of your hand, because if you just put the product, squirt it out of the applicator, put it on, it's so much, and then it's kind of hard to deal with. It's always better to add more than to try to get rid of something. So take a little off your hand and dot underneath the eyes. This cool tip feels so good for swelling. You want to start it at the center and move out to the side, helping to move the lymph. And then take your ring finger, which isn't as strong as some of your other fingers, so you're not pulling on your eye area so much. I even maybe have a little bit, but I like to go all the way around the eye. It's safe to put on top of the eye. And you can see that that does a really nice job of covering and it lasts all day. It also has a sunblock in, um, which is great because they're really not eye products that have sunblock in and there are a lot of cases of skin cancers in the eye area. So that's a Really great innovation and a wonderful product, looks good, everything. Because my circles are so dark, now I'm even going to put a little bit more camouflage on. And this is with their corrector palette. So this is designed to follow the life of a bruise. So you can cover the purple, the reds, um, and even the yellows at the end. So usually under the eye area is kind of blue, so we're going to use this peach tone to combat that. I have a lot on my brush there. So just smooth it out with your brush. Also, again, you can put it on your upper if you have too much. Then I use these two colors on the end that are meant for reds to take the redness away from the corners of my nose, which I know a lot of people have. Or if you have a blemish, you can use the small brush that comes with 
and just dot right over it, patting and pressing until things get all blended in. The idea of doing your foundation and your even up and then this corrector palette is to get your skin in a more neutral place before you add color. So I also use the darkest one on here often for an eyeshadow. So that's an option too. I can show you how I do that. Um, really simple. This is all quite quick. If you are in a hurry to get ready, this whole routine only takes me about seven minutes. Then I use the lightest color underneath the brow bone for a little bit of highlighter. I don't like to bring the dark way up there on me because I already have darkness around my eyes. So this is a really great palette to use. They have a couple other palettes that I like. This one is the Eye and Brow Palette. So you can use these colors as eyeshadows. You can use them to do your brows. You can use them for eyeliner. Multi-purpose, really nice neutral tones. So um, I like to mix a couple colors to do my brows. Another tip with the brows is not to start over here in the center because you don't want to deposit all that dark color first thing. It's kind of hard to move it out. So I usually like to start in the center and then move it out to the edges. I'm obviously very light, so I use a lighter tone. Most people can mix two darker tones or whatever you need to do. This is also a really nice uh, taupey eyeshadow that I use if I'm not using the corrector palette. It's just a um, little bit more cool tone. And then this one, you wet your brush and you can tap on a little bit of eyeliner. I've got a little wet brush here. I usually will use kind of the darker brown for that, again, because I'm so light. And then, just get it as close in to your lash line as you can. This is a daytime look, so I really don't like to put on too much eyeliner in the day. And also because of my dark circles, I don't like to use eyeliner underneath my eyes because I just want to keep whatever darkness I can away from there. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to show you is this nice bronzing stick that you can use either for blush, if that color is nice for you. It's pretty neutral. Or you can... You just tap it in like that. You can also use it on your lip for a little color. You like the bronzing color. They also have a berry. You can also use it on your eyelids um, or for contouring underneath your cheekbone. And then you can put some other blush, powder brush, on your cheeks. So from this palette that's called Beauty on the Go, you can pretty much do everything. Um, I mix these two tones for the blush. I often will use this for eyeliner and this for highlighter over here. If you want a more dramatic look, it comes in a little dark, darker color on the end there. But mixing these two is nice. You get a little bit of frostiness maybe from the pink, so it kind of softens it. Okay. Before I spritz myself with the hydrating mist again, I'm going to show you this unforgettable brush, which is their most, their biggest seller. This is such a great product to have with you. You can keep it in your car, your purse, your golf bag, your boat. It's a mineral powder. It's not ever going to go bad. So that's really great. So you just want to make sure that you see the powder coming out of it. And then go ahead and put it on all over your face. I mostly use this for touch-ups and keep it with me because it's nice to put something on every couple hours and you don't rest, wreck your makeup doing that, so that's really great. So now I've put on quite a few different powders and I want it to look a little more luminous. So I'm going to use this hydrating mist, which really does the trick, and it also sets your makeup so you don't have transferring from your chin onto your collar of your clothes. So give it a few good spritzes. 
I'm generous with it. I also like to spritz my ring finger. Another tip for all the camouflage underneath my eyes, I don't want it to look cakey. So just dot some of that over it. It'll help it to last and not look as cakey. Next, I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara. This uh, Color Science mascara is so gentle for people that have sensitive eyes, which I do. And it's amazing because it never smudges or flakes. So I've even worn it in an overnight flight. And when I arrived, no smudging, which is kind of miraculous. But mostly I like it just because it's indicated for sensitive eyes and I just don't have any problems with it, with the irritation. So I love that. So now I'm going to wipe off my lip balm. It really does make them so much smoother. Color Science has these really nice SPF 35 lip glosses that come in different colors. Smells good, feels good, protects the lips. I love it. The, paint, the rose is my favorite, but it comes in coral and champagne as well. So that is just the simple color science makeup. Um, hopefully these tips will help you. We're always happy to help anyone with a complimentary consultation or makeup lesson at Edina Skincare. So you can give us a call if you're interested in that at 952-920-5521. We also do Zoom conference calls. So if you need to stay at home, that works. And it's kind of a good time for you to learn how to do your makeup and do a little practicing and be all set to re-enter the world. Thank you.